Hey, welcome to part eight of our two-story house tutorial. I think in this part, what we're going to do is we're going to clean up the roof a little bit, make it look more realistic. One of the things I noticed is siding usually doesn't go all the way up and meet the shingles like this on a house. Usually there's a little bit of um, an overhang to it to allow rain to come down off the sides or collect in a gutter and not just splash on the side of the house. So I'm going to show you how to make a little overhang on the side here. Just make it look a little more like a real home. To do this, we're going to need the line tool, which looks like a pencil. So go ahead and select that. And we're going to adjust the camera so we get kind of a side view of our house. And we're going to go up to the end point, but I'm not going to click. I'm actually going to move my mouse down a little bit from the end point. It'll make a little dotted line. So I'm going to go down just a little bit and click and let go. There we go. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a line that comes down here on the edge, not in the corner, but on the edge, about right there. Click and let go. Now you notice it still kind of sticks. I'm going to hit the escape key. That way I don't make another line. I'm going to go up here to that end point we just made. Click and let go. Go down to about there. Same amount of space we came out on the other side. Click and let go. And now you can kind of see what I'm going for here. We have this little part here that now we can push and pull out to make the overhang of the roof. So go to your push-pull tool. You may need to adjust the camera a little bit. And we're going to pull this little section out right here to make this really cool overhang like that. Pretty cool. And now we're going to go do the same thing on the other side. So we're going to swing our camera around. We're going to go to our line tool select the line tool and we're going to go up and move the mouse to this end point just so the computer knows where we're starting from but not actually click we're going to move the mouse down a little bit and then click and let go and then go down to about here again not to the very corner out a little bit click and let go now i'm going to hit escape so i can do the same thing coming down this other side click that end point and let go and go to about there click and let go now, if we did this right, our push-pull tool should work. So I'm going to select the push-pull tool, adjust my camera a little bit, pull that little edge out. All right, now that's looking pretty good. And now we want to color this not shingle, not siding, but something else. You could use shingles for that, or sometimes on homes, they'll have like a nice um, neutral color paint right there for the trim. So let's go to our paint can, and I'm going to go to... I'm going to click the house button right there. That looks like a home. And I'm going to pick a very neutral kind of paint, almost almost to match the color of our siding. Let's try that. I'm going to click that. Click that to fill in on that side. Looks pretty good. I'm going to swing this around and do the same thing on that side. All right, this is a much more professional looking roof. Now, another thing we're going to add is a small chimney. Let's pretend there's a chimney sometime, somewhere inside this house. I'm going to show you how to do that. So we get this menu out of the way. Now let's put the chimney, let's see, let's put the chimney in the back of back half of the house. So what we'll do is we'll come and adjust our camera like I am to get a back view of the house. And we're going to select our line tool. And we're going to kind of pick wherever we want the chimney to be along uh, the face of the roof. And I'm going to adjust my camera a little bit to get a side view like that. And I'm going to click and let go. I'm going to make a line coming up. It should be blue to be on the blue axis. And then I'm going to click and let go. And now I'm going to draw straight across. It should go on the green axis. That's how you know it's going flat. Click and let go. And now we're going to come down until it says on face. That's how we know it's on the other side. Or it's on the shingles of the roof. Click and let go. And now we're going to go to that. Click and let go. And now we made kind of this two-dimensional chimney-looking shape. And now we're going to select our push-pull tool. And we're going to pull that out just a little bit and check it out. We've made a chimney. Now if we want to make that a little bit taller, we can drag the top up a little. We can drag that side out if we want to make it a little bit bigger. Pretty cool. And now what we're going to do is we're um, going to make the chimney caved in a little bit here. To do that, we're going to go to our offset tool 
make sure that it's on the edge and then click once and let go. And then as I move my mouse, it's going to make this little border. We're going to make like an inner border, similar to what we did with the windows. Click and let go. And now we're going to select the push pull tool. Now we can actually, oh, you see how the roof is selected again. I don't want to push and pull the roof. That's going to mess it up. So we're going to hit the escape key. Now nothing is selected blue. Now I have that part selected. So now I can click and pull that down. Not too far, but just enough to make the illusion that that goes down and let go. And let's um, use some textures for this. So I'm going to select the paint can. I'm going to use a black paint to fill in the inside just to make it look like it goes down. And then let's find some nice brick for our chimney. So let's go to brick cladding and siding. Pick whatever type of brick you think would look good for your chimney. I'm going to go with this kind of um, light colored brick. Let's see how that looks. Oh, that looks pretty good. You can pick any brick you want. Remember, you have to paint every side of it. It's not going to fill it in for you. You also want to do the trim along the top and the trim on the inside of the chimney as well. All right, let's zoom out and get a view of our house. Check this out. We've got what looks like a pretty good home. Don't forget to click and hit the save button.